Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Jim, WD4SFO. Um, and it is a very short question. What's with the 200 megahertz, or rather 1.25 meter band? I never heard about it. It's as though this band isn't there. And you're right. It is, though, this band isn't there. Up until hmm, 40 years ago or something like that, um, maybe 30, we had a thriving 2-meter band, a thriving uh, 70 or a 70 centimeter band, and a thriving 1.23 meter band. There was a big to do. UPS, the same parcel service that we use today, wanted some space in that region of the spectrum for its trucks, to keep track of its trucks. At the time, UPS was growing extremely rapidly. And this was before a lot of the mobile technology and so on. They wanted spectrum space. They wanted the 1.25 meter band. Well, there was a huge hoofra inside a ham radio. And uh, we lost three of the five megahertz, no, two of the five megahertz on that band. 222 two, two to 225, that's three megahertz of space. Now, keep this in mind. The two meter band is four megahertz wide. The six meter band is four megahertz wide. We had 60% of what we had previously, okay? We had three megahertz. That's 75% of what the uh, two meter band is. And everybody was so upset about this and talking about destroying the band that people fled the band. And all of a sudden, the folklore in ham radio was, we don't have the 1.25 meter band anymore. Nobody was buying equipment for it. The Japanese manufacturers ceased making equipment for it because nobody was using it. And their handhelds straddled the band. You had two meter and 70 centimeters, and they'd leave out what's in the middle. Occasionally, you are seeing hams, ham radio equipment manufacturer make equipment for the 1.25 uh, meter band, mostly Chinese manufacturers. For example, I have an Anytone uh, 578. It's a mobile rig here. It'll do 5 watts on the 222 megahertz band. It's there. It's sitting there waiting to be used, okay? but we've got a chicken and egg problem now. Nobody's using it, so they didn't make equipment for it. Since they don't make equipment for it, nobody's using it, okay? Why not become a 222 to 225 champion in your local club, find some equipment that does get on it, there are occasional handhelds that do, and try and get some activity going on it. Maybe get a repeater put up. See what you can do. It is there, it's available for use, and it has become the ghost band of ham radio, even though it's a perfectly good band and it's right there. Now, the FCC sort of repented and came back and gave one megahertz back to hams. It's 219 to 220, so it's separated slightly. But there's a, a glitch. That band can only be used for repeater backhauls. So, anyway, there you go. So, I hope that answers your question there. What happened to the band? It's there. It's still there, Jim. And you can use it if you would like to use it. So, if you've watched this far in the video, you might want to subscribe. And click like and click the uh, notify bell. And, until we next meet, 73.